Movement number four. Dragon seeks path. Dragon whips his tail. Yo, my man, why you got on that purse, huh? Hey, you seen the no purse? I'm the big dilf. Don't do that. I'm not out of Patron in the bit at you, heard? Get your money up, not your funny up. Gratta. Get your money up, not your funny up, dummy. I'm going to just get a whole new intro because, you know, sometimes you got to change your intro up a little bit. You know? Keep it fresh on them. What I'm saying is get your money up, not your funny up. What? Is this the first one since Cali or my trip? Nah. We did one. That shit didn't do shit. But, yeah. Um, no, we uploaded the bloopers. Yeah, but that didn't do shit. And then so did the other one. That don't you remember that that um that one that we did that was done oh the soldier boy one that was fire but like they cheesed us like nobody got the notifications okay yeah so yo listen make sure you like comment subscribe strictly for the fans merch out right now that Dax feature out right now make sure you go streaming on all ma major platforms you know what I'm saying then we got that R Kelly this is out right now you know what I'm saying check that you know, out that R Kelly this is mad important I need everybody to go the social medias are literally trying to silence my voice which is ironic because that's what the song is about and uh, you, uh, Instagram literally told me that I have to get some sort of special authorization before I could promote post about social issues which is absolutely crazy but they trying to they trying to mute screw, screw kelly is what i'm what i'm trying to tell don't you call me screw, don't call me screw kelly <laughs> machine gun screw ellie but yo anyways man yo all that Strictly for the fans merch out now. Money Food Podcast merch coming soon. Do you dig me? Do you dig me? The Dax video coming soon. Do you dig me? The script project coming soon. Do you dig me? You know, all, yo, there's too much to list, bro. We got like a five minute intro because there's too much, too much heat rock. You know what I mean? So what I'm saying is, we're about to, let's get into it. The crypt, crypt is covered. Script. It's yeah. covered. Script is covered. Facts. I would say soon it's coming. It's coming. So, yo, today we going to talk about our predictions for the Boogie album. That's coming. On the 25th. What was it called again? I think it's like a number, right? No. Oh, no. I don't like know then. I couldn't tell you. Sale or some Everything for sale or something. Yeah. Like. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's what it is. But, yo. Yeah, yeah. Friday, the long-awaited time, Shady Records presents Boogie, West Side Boogie. You dig me? Boogie need a sound. Or like a catchphrase or like a something that, like Blueface. Huh? That nigga got the, the Sprite commercial. I mean, the, the Snickers commercial. So how you feeling, uh, man? We talked about this a bunch of times already, you know what I'm uh, saying? But how you feeling? Um, I'm trying to think of how I can word this. Fuck it. Honestly, exactly what I thought <coughs> would happen is happening. It really feels like. Maybe, put in the comment section if I'm wrong, if I missed this. But it still feels as if a lot of the footwork of the promotion is from Boogie. Um, I, 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 I don't like that. I think that's really, I, I feel like... When he's doing those Instagram videos where he's pulling up on the fans and playing the video, I mean, playing his album for them and stuff, I think that's super cool. That's really good marketing, but it's just, I don't know. I still feel, I mean, I don't know. We got it's a little, days, it's a, so it's a little uh, smaller artist feel when you got stuff like that, which I don't think is necessarily a negative thing, but. It's weird, man. I mean, if you sign to a label, bro, and your label's supposed to be backing you, they should definitely be pushing your stuff out there a lot more. I feel like we should have heard a lot more about Boogie before this, but, I mean, going into it, I the music gonna be fire. Musically? Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not worried about Boogie's music. Yeah. I, mean, I like almost everything's dropped. Right, facts, facts, Everything facts. for sale, that is what it's called. And it's just like... I don't know. It's the promotion. Know. It's the promotion. The promotion ain't right for it. But let's just talk about the predictions. 
about what we think. Um, Music-wise, you think it's going to be straight. You think there's going to be an M feature? I think there's an M feature on there. There's de- um, yeah, he said there's an M feature, so I'm going to go off his word. What I'm trying to figure out is, are they going to make that the single? Or is Silent Night the single, the lead single to it? If, Which is cool, but like, Silent Ride is <coughs> cool, but for the lead single of his debut... This is his debut album. This is his good kid, Matt Seer. This is his Get Rich or Die Trying. This is his... Like, what do we do? He feels so independent to me. He feels so independent to me. Like, I really don't see the difference yeah. between him and an independent. I really don't. It's a bit of frustration. I mean, it's a bit of frustration because it's like... For somebody who makes really good music and somebody who's been, you know, like a person that's supposed to have been up and coming now for a while, you would just hope that, you know, he would get everything out of his first release and especially being signed with Shady, you would think that that would be something that he would get. You never get another debut album. You never get that again. You only have that once in your life. You can, That's supposed to do, that's supposed to be like, it doesn't have to be your most successful album, but it's got to make a statement. Yeah. It's got to be like, this is what we doing. This is Boogie. So It's got to make people want to come back. You know what I'm saying? Like, <coughs> I mean... So here's what I'm saying. Do you think, album sales-wise, what do you think it's going to do for this week? I feel like it could go one or two ways. It's either going to do really good because the Eminem song and it's new and people are going to be bumping it and looking for it. Or, okay, I'm going to throw a number out there. If he do, it's weird, but if he do 80,000 first week, I'm going to think that that's really successful. Because with the, for him... For him. You're looking at him like an independent. Thing. Yeah, because this is the thing. Like, you got to look at it like this. Like, you got people like Trippy Red, who's like one of the more popular artists out right now. Um, Six Nine, stuff like that. Their first week numbers are, are well, no, I can't compare Trippy Red and Six Nine. Six Nine, a bad example, but somebody like Trippy Red always does like 60, 70,000. So. If Boogie do like 80,000, I think that's going to be real good because you don't really hear his name like that all the time. Like you might if you're looking for it, but if you're a person who's never heard of Boogie before, the first time hearing about Boogie is probably going to be because of his new Eminem song. You know what I'm saying? So like in that merit, he might have a lot of clicks. He might have a lot of people looking for him. So I think 80,000. So wait, 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 this is going to be random, but how much you think Jordan going to do first week? At least 150k. God damn. Yeah. At least 150k. You think he gonna shit on Boogie like that? Yeah. Because the different Joiner's name is is way too big. Like yeah. you gotta look at it like this: Joiner bigger than Logic, and Logic do 150k. Okay. Okay. Wait, you so know what I mean? Logic do 150 his first week. It was something like that. I think a little bit more. He. I think he did. I think he okay, might have so done 80, two. 80, 80, 80, 80, 80 ain't crazy for Boogie. 80 is very good. Now. 80 is realistic to me because I'm like, yo, if you do 80, that's good to me because I'm like, yo, like. Are you sure Logic did that? Logic did crazy numbers first week. Hold up. I feel like it's more than 150. I feel like it's way more than 150. It could be more than. No, it's definitely. I think it is more than 150. I'm pretty sure. Hold on. But I'm saying I think it's way more. I could be wrong. But I think it's way more than 150. I could be completely tripping. Nah, he sold a lot of physical copies. He sold like 127,000 physical copies. Hold on. Okay. Hold Damn. on. So what what was his you? last album called again? YSIV. Yeah. He did 167,000 units with 122 of them being traditional sales. So that's Damn. that's about realistic to me. I think Joiner will do roughly the same. Maybe not as many physical though. I'm I don't know though. Joyner, I don't know. If Joyner, if Joyner do one fifty, that's gonna be crazy. If Joiner I'm gonna keep it a buck. Joiner doing if Logic did one sixty and Joiner does one fifty without the one eight hundred song, what I'm telling you is 
you got to put Joyner up in a different league than he's beyond Duh, the Joyner, line. I'm going to tell you right now, Joyner, I think, doing 150K first week, bro. If he do one, I'm going to do a backflip. If he do one, I I'm think he's doing 150K first week, bro. Like, how could he look? Because this is the thing. Wait, let's talk about Boogie, though, because I know niggas going to be like, no, nigga, this ain't the Joyner. No, I know, 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 but. We can do a whole one about Joyner, though, which we will. So you think he's going to do 80K? All right, cool. So do you think they're going to drop another song before the album drops, or do you think Solid Rise is going to be it? I mean, the album drops Friday, so, I mean, unless he literally drops a song between today and Thursday, we're not getting another song. That was it. I'm just like, yo, maybe Friday will come. a weird lead single. That doesn't seem like a single that's supposed to generate excitement for an album. That it's kind of like sad, a, like a little, well, not well, sad. It, it could be sad, but I'm saying, like, it doesn't seem like his spearhead. It doesn't seem like Mad City. It doesn't seem like, uh, let me think of some lead songs that went into uh, uh, albums. It doesn't seem like Best I Ever Had. It don't seem like... Even Joiner, Lucky You, it don't, or, or whatever song he gonna drop with M. <laughs> that song hasn't dropped, and it already feels like the the announcement of the call. Let's say Stand Three um, is already more, the announcement is a lead into a better lead into his album than I feel like Silent Ride does, just seemed like a a boogie song. It don't seem like a. I'm about to drop an album song. Yeah, I feel like if you're going to drop an album, you're supposed to drop your one. You're supposed to drop your one. Like, you're supposed to stream troll. You're supposed to drop the one that's going to get all the views so then your album do better. So, because, you yeah. know? Yeah, no doubt. Wait, 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 wait. What is Silent Ride at right now? Let me let me look at what Silent Ride is at right now. If that shit ain't a million, I'm going to be sick to my stomach. I don't think so. Joiner videos don't be getting that many views. I mean, they get a what million. 100%. They get a million. Yeah, yeah, they get a million. But I'm saying, like, some of his are some of, like some of his more recent ones haven't been as high as his older ones. What? What? Damn, he only has six hundred thousand. Yeah. Nah, he gets he hits like a million, million, no doubt. But I'm Joiner be cracking a million. For what song yeah, easy. Does, what recent video of his? I don't. I think I, I love got maybe three or four million, maybe. My nigga, I love us twenty nine million. Oh God! Oh yeah, that went up a lot. Yeah, that went up a lot. Oh my God, I was so wrong about that. Holy shit! Wow. Nah, he be, my nigga, that nigga be cracking billions. Yeah, he be he hitting a hundred. Yo, Boogie Dog, listen. If you hearing this right now, I'm saying you should figure out a way to drop an in video. You have. To. You need that. You need that. Need that. Because let's say I love is the lead. So let's just look at the two lead singles. Silent Ride is the lead single. And I love Silent Ride's at 615,000 on the. Well, let me click and see exactly what it's at. 632 million. Thousand, right? Joiner's at 29 million. He needs that. That's already going to move his album that. up sales. He needs that. Did the track list from this Boogie album drop? Mm -mm. I need to know who else is on this. Not that I know of. I need to know who else is. If anybody has any insight, please drop in the comment section. If you know anybody who else is. Boogie and need to do a song together. Yeah. Bro. He need that, bro. He needs some type of something to get his name up, dog. Because dropping first week, bro. Yo. Here's the thing. I'm going to keep it a rock with you, bro. If that nigga do less than 80K, that shit going to look crazy. You know what is the saddest part? I don't think it will. I think if he do like 30K, 40K, I don't. Th I think it's going to be business as usual and people will continue not thinking about it. And which is the sad part. Because I feel like if, if he does do 80, 100, something like that, then people are going to start paying attention to him. But if not, eh. Yeah, that's how I feel because if if 80's like, yo, yo, who is this dude that just came out and did 80K? That's fire. But if he do less than like 80K, like when I say less, like if it's like 75, then that's good. Okay, but I'm saying if he do like 20,000, bro, 
He need to renegotiate his record deal. That's what I'm telling you. Because that's a bad look, bro. You can't be signed to Shady Records and do 20000 bro. You can't do that. You can't be like his, his like, little, like, his little homie, like, Eminem's little homie, and then get big homie by Joyner. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's a bad look. Because this, we talking about this right now, right? I damn near forgot we was recording. We talking about this right now. This is the thing that killed me. Joyner not even signed to Shady. But niggas are treating it like he is. So it's like, that's crazy. Like, that's why the cosigns are so important to everybody watching. Why I bring up the cosigns, why I bring up M, because that's the importance of a cosign. Joyner don't even have to be signed to Shady to reap the benefits of the Shady because he got a great, great, great cosign. Right, right. He got right. a cosign the best. That's the best case scenario getting nominated for a Grammy on that because that's beyond the cosign. Now the Grammy's a cosign. That's beyond. So now it's making it feel like he's a shady artist. It's making it feel like he moving on Shady's schedule. Like, because it looks like it. And, right. and he's prospering, but it don't look like Boogie is because he's not getting the same. And I'm not saying he need a Grammy. Right. No doubt. Like, we'll see what happens when this M song drops. Maybe like. The first week it does 20, the M song drops. M pushes that shit, which I doubt. Um, Post it and does all that shit, which she probably will, actually. And then all of a sudden, it shoots that bitch up to 40 or some shit. I don't know. I doubt it, but you never know. I, I'm hopeful, though. I'm hopeful that book. Maybe he'll come out and shock the world, man. I hope he gets some press coverage or something. That's going to help. You know what I mean? Because, like, bro, people do not know who this nigga is. Like... The Breakfast Club, he need a Breakfast Club, an Everyday Struggle, a Joe Budden podcast, or something. You know what I mean? You need a song first before that. Because you can't just go up there and you don't got a song yet. Yeah, but he kind of can because he got an M feature on his album. Like, Eminem should have that. His, his, his. He's never going to have a Joe Budden podcast interview, by the way. Nah, I mean, Joe Budden doesn't really, he doesn't really interview people. I'm just saying. No, but even if he did interview him, he's shady. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Duh, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. Shit. Y'all put in the comment section what y'all think, man. What, do you, what are your anticipations? <laughs> I think the music going to be fire. I just don't think it's going to get the looks it needs. But um, do y'all think I'm wrong? <coughs> I'm going to search. Shout out to everybody who be commenting, by the way. Let's get this video to 200 likes. 200 is the goal, you dig? 200. We can do that. Grr, get your money up, not your funny up, dummy. We out here, a whole lot of gang shit. Grr, 